what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. And we are back with the nationally syndicated film critic who is continuing his best month ever. Ryan J, <laughs> how are you today? I'm great. How are you guys? Great. You look fantastic as always. <laughs> are you excited about new movies this weekend? I am. There's a couple good ones. Okay, well, let's start with it's Queen Pins, right? And this one's in theaters. It is. And this is a crime comedy inspired by true events starring Kristen Bell as a coupon clipper who creates a scam <laughs> costing companies millions of dollars. Oh, I like it already. Um, okay, so you said Kristen Bell. Who else is in the cast or supporting cast? Well, the supporting cast features some of the best known comedians in really minor roles, but it has a, a really fun vibe to it that way. However, I never laughed. This movie is not funny. So oh. calling it a crime, crime comedy falls flat because the comedy is not that funny. I think there was Vince Vaughn that had a couple decent moments, but the rest of it's not funny. And the crime isn't that offensive either in terms of drama here. So I feel like the stakes aren't that high because, you know, certainly the crime is wrong, but she's costing multi-billion dollar companies a million dollars here or there, you know? So it's like the stakes aren't that high, the comedy's not that good. Uh, so mm. the thing is to get people out to the theaters these days, I feel like you're gonna have to knock it out of the park. Is this a skip it? Yeah, and, and the ending does, leaves you kind of with an icky taste. So I'd say skip it. Okay. All right, there's one down. How about Come From Away? This is on Apple TV+. Plus. Yes, and Tiff, this was the one, the show that you and I saw together on the Broadway tour at the Lincoln, at the you know center downtown, and you don't remember it. I I didn't, but then when you reminded me which one it was, remember I was like, this is my favorite show I've ever seen. Yeah, you loved it. You loved it. And then you were like so confused, so funny. Yes, this was it's your like favorite I forget show. Titles. Right. It's such a great show. This was filmed live on Broadway, similar to how they did Hamilton for uh, Disney+. Plus. This one's on Apple TV+. Plus, and it's the Broadway cast. And it's a story about the 38 planes with 7,000 people on them that were rerouted to Newfoundland, Canada on 9-11. So talk a little bit about what's so unique about it. It's incredibly brilliant. They have just a small cast of performers that change their accent and their posture, do totally different characters. You sometimes can't even tell the same people. Are, people are playing different characters. And the staging is so smart. And it's all these complex uh, intersecting subplots that so cleverly come together with emotional music and smart lyrics. And it just, it's so amazing how they do this with simple staging, but you can totally tell where they are if they're changing from a plane to a different place. It's so brilliant. I was, my mind was blown. I think Tiffany's mind was blown by this too. I, I loved it. I remember just like crying. I, I cried a lot. I laughed. I enjoyed it. I, I, are we going to get that same emotional play from the movie? A hundred percent. I mean, it covers all of that. You laugh out loud joyously. You cry happy tears, sad tears. It's so touching. No matter our differences, it's really about how we all have the same basic needs and require kindness. And this, this show and this movie really is a beacon for community and empathy and kindness and the golden rule. Stream it on Apple TV+. Plus. If you like musicals, you will love Come From Away. All right. Tell us about Kate. This is rated R on Netflix. And this one's a little strange because it feels like it starts in the middle. Like, you're kind of confused. It's like, it's like something was just going on and you're, you're put in the middle of a movie. It's about an assassin with a conscience who has one day, 24 hours, to basically take vengeance out against the person who killed her because she was poisoned and has 24 hours to live. Okay, is it violent? This is so violent, like shockingly violent in terms of super bloody, but also the way that some of the kills are done with special effects. Like I like I was like squealing a little bit like that is so unnecessary how <laughs> gross, but also kind of cool to watch. So, yeah, super violent and bloody. Oh, I just saw Woody Harrelson, I think. Do you feel like the, the story's good? It's not that good because it's also coming out at a weird time where, you know, we just had the protege with Maggie Q and we have Shang-Chi, which came out last week and which was one of the greatest films ever made. And this movie is like subpar because even though the action's okay and it's violent and bloody and that's fun, if you like that, the story falls flat. There are no subplots. It's very linear. There's no character growth. And there's a loose twist at the end. It's not that exciting. So skip it. It's on Netflix, but don't even waste your time. Ah, okay, ah. well, there we go. Skip it. All right, Small Engine Repair, rated R. This is in theaters. 
this is, and this is the movie of the week. This Ooh. is outstanding. It is, it's a real antidote to the notion, you know, how people always say that Hollywood is out of original ideas. This movie is the antidote to that. It is so cool. It is so original. It's based on a play, a, an off-Broadway play from 2013, written, directed by, and starring John Polano. He's in this as well. And it is a just juicy drama. Ooh, okay. So what's the film's impact, do you think? It has a great impact because it's the kind of movie you'll remember when you leave. It stays with you. It's so intelligent. It's it's like an original story about whether well, there's a character study, but you know one of them has a secret, and you're trying to figure out what's going on there. The, the title's horrible. It doesn't really make any sense. But when, when the twist comes, it's so smart and stays with you. You'll want to talk about it afterward. You'll really enjoy this. You'll remember seeing this movie. It's a great drama. So see it in theaters. Rated All R. All right. Okay, we love Those it. Those are good. Ryan, thank you so much. Great to see you. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks so thanks, much, Ryan. you guys, too. Oh, thanks so much. And you can like Ryan J on Facebook, follow him on Instagram and Twitter, and for full movie reviews, check out his website. It's ryanjreviews.com.